but you also have a major, major earnings season starting this quarter as well. And right now, with what we expect from an earnings perspective, we expect about a 9% decrease in, the, in EPS numbers quarter over quarter, which would represent the worst year over year from an earnings perspective in the last, in the last 11 years. And so with what happened last quarter, with seeing over 80% of companies, you know, beat EPS projections, saw utter just annihilation. Think about it like this again. Last earnings quarter, what type of environment did we see last earnings uh, earnings quarter in that very, very aggressive, amazing earnings? Well, you saw a lot of up and you saw a lot of down. Okay, you saw a lot of volatility. So we're seeing earnings come back into the pictures here this week with the banks reporting earnings. You also have some earnings coming out of this uh, semiconductor space with Taiwan Semiconductor. You have some home builders reporting earnings this week that are going to be very important for the home builders in KB Homes. You have, you know, take, uh, what, what, take a look at Conagra Foods last week, CAG, food processing company. We saw them report earnings last week, have a fairly decent earnings report for both from an EPS perspective, a guidance perspective, a revenue perspective. And yet what happened to Conagra? They came down in price. And so, you know, does it take a look at ACI very quickly? ACI, you know, Albertsons reporting earnings uh, here tomorrow. Can Albertsons, re can Albertsons turn around a sector that has been a little bit weak? lately can it turn around the tyson uh, the, the tyson foods and the conagra foods and you know we have three stocks on the tackle 25 that are food-based companies albertson's even though albertson's did not make the cut this year can albertson's a major company in this space influence some of that take a look at kb homes for a second take a look at xhb and kb homes uh, kb homes is kbh please so take a look at uh, XHB and then KB Homes. I don't care which one first. You know, when you're looking at KB Homes, when you're looking at DH Horn, when you're looking at Toll Brothers, a lot of these home build builders have been in some degree of stagnation over the course of the last, you know, two, three months. You're looking at a fight for KB Homes on that 200 day moving average. Now, why could KB Homes imp uh, be important this week? Well, take a look at XHB for a second. XHB has been showing a little bit more strength than the home builders themselves. And so when you look at some of those major home building companies like KB, like Lennar, like D.H. Horton, like Toll Brothers, like Pulte Group, a lot of these companies have actually been underperforming its broader index in XHB. We're looking at XHB as a potential breakout of that very clean trigger above 59.94 with the potential confirmation of 60. I love it from a technical perspective. I don't love what those major home builders have been doing, though. Can KB Homes come out there, report a positive earnings report, get KB, get DH Horn, get Lennar to start showing a little bit of momentum and have that legitimate breakout in XHB? And so even though this week is a political nightmare of a navigation week that is not going to have as much of a market impact as it will have a, a, a political impact, especially on how those things, those political stories impact our emotions. I'm looking at some of the uh, some of the areas of the market that are more relevant to what is actually happening in the market. And that is the bank's earnings this week. That is KB Homes this week. That is Taiwan Semiconductor this week. TSM, Tackle 25 stock, first time ever for Taiwan Semiconductor. Let's take a, uh, take a quick peek at TSM very quickly can taiwan continue to perform its utter domination but my ultimate thing i'm looking for from a market this week is those banks earnings numbers earnings again last quarter not a great quarter from an actual numbers perspective but from an expert expectation to what what was performance based you had close to damn near 80 percent of companies bds s p number s p 500 numbers or eps expectations you had a great revenue uh, uh quarter last quarter 
Can we repeat that? It starts this week with the banks. And so I'm looking at those market important moments this week. They're going to have an impact on the market far more than the political environment this week, which the market's going to discount because in nine days from now, regardless of whatever happens this week, we are as a country moving forward with the new administration. That's what the market's going to be focusing on this week. It's going to help them navigate a fairly difficult political environment this week. Mm-hmm. And I love that earnings preview, by the way. Uh, obviously, some names here that we're going to be paying attention to. I agree with the the, the KB Homes, the Albertsons, the Taiwan Semi. We're going to learn a lot from them. And then the banks uh, on Friday as well. Uh, looking forward to all of those things. And 